hello guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to draft the perfect basic bodies for plus size women and this is going to be the part one of the youtube video so the materials i'm going to be needing for this video are my ruler my french curve paper tape writing material as well as the plus size client's measurement so the measurements i need for this tutorial are her shoulder width bust circumference under bust circumference waist circumference hip circumference the shoulder to the nipple point measurements the shoulder to the under bust measurements the shoulder to the waist measurements her blouse length as well as the shoulder to the waist measurements for the back so the first step now is to draw out my or mark my shoulder measurements the client's shoulder width is 16 inches 16 divided by 2 is 8 inches so from the top right corner of my paper i'll mark 8 inches and then just for accuracy i'll just move down a bit and mark the same 8 inches then her arm side depth is to calculate arm side depth you divide the bust measurements by six and add one inch so her bust measurement is bust circumference measurement is 48 inches divided by six is eight inches plus one that's nine inches so her arm side depth will be one inch sorry it will be nine inches so i'll mark my nine inches and also mark my nine inches yeah just for accuracy and then i'll just square up the line and then I'll draw out my horizontal line the next step now will be to mark out our vertical measurements so her shoulder to nipple point is 12 inches Shoulder to under bust is 17.5. Shoulder to waist is, and when I mean waist, I mean the navel is 22 inches. And her blouse length is 31 inches. So I'll just square up the line. point line so bust point line under bust line waist line and then blouse length line so the next step now is to draw out my neck to mark my neck measurement so the standard neck measurement for plus size women is three by three inches if you are doing a kenu neck or you know all those other um, styles of neckline the um, measurements would vary but for just a regular crew neckline it's three by three inches for the front so i just mark three inches on the vet on the horizontal on the top right or, or the top of my paper from the top of my paper and then mark three inches downwards and just create my neckline box i hope you can see this i really hope you can see this wow. so i was saying to create my neckline box i'll just mark from the top right corner i'll mark three inches here and also three inches downwards and then i'll create the neckline box so this is another three inches So 
So this is my armhole box and this is my neckline box. So the next step is to draw a diagonal line from the top right corner of my pattern paper to the edge of the armhole, the neckline box. Can you see? Measure that diagonal line. What I have here is four one quarter inches. Can you see that? Four one quarter inches. Divide that by three. So to divide that by three, just an easier method, an easier way to do that. I fold my tape roll thrice. Can you see? So just keep adjusting as it's folded into three and it stops at that four one quarter point. So press it down very well so that it will create um, um, indentations at that point so you can know the exact measurement so i have one three over eight two three quarter and then my four one quarter so i'll mark those points along this diagonal line one three over eight two three quarter and then my four one quarter so this is the first part of the line the second part and then the third part on this third part i'll come down by a quarter of an inch again can you see that? I came down by a quarter of an inch. So this was the original point. I came down by a quarter of an inch. And then just use my French curve to create a reasonable curve. Let's create a reasonable curve. The reason why I came down by that quarter of an inch is just to ensure that this the beginning part of this line is somewhat flat so that i don't have it just sharp like this so it's not start creating another like v-neck um, neckline so that's that the next step now is to create my shoulder slope so for plus size women or for most people for plus size women actually you can use between three quarter of an inch to one inch for the shoulder slope but for this lady i'm going to be using three quarter of an inch so I mark my quarter of an inch and connect that point to the edge of my neckline. I hope this is clear. So what I did was I from this the top part of the vertical line of my armhole box i marked three quarter of an inch and then i just connected use the diagonal line to connect it to the edge of the neckline box to create my shoulder slope so the next step is to measure what i have left of the vertical line of this armhole box what i have left is eight one quarter inches divide that by two and what i have is four one over eight inches now. Yes, for one over eight inches. So I'll mark that point from the end of this slant. I'll just mark that as four one over eight inches. So the next step now is to impute our darts. So um, the client's bust span is nine inches. Nine divided by two is four point five inches. So. I'll pull her dart at 4.5 inches from the center front. So along the bust point line, mark 4.5 inches. And along the blouse length line, mark the same 4.5 inches. And then use a vertical line to connect both. So essentially, this is the center leg of my dart. So on this bust point line i'll come down by one inch come down by one inch and then my dart width the width of my dart is going to be three quarter inches on both sides the total width is 1.5 inches which is three quarter inches on both sides of the i hope this is clear it's three quarter inches on both sides of the um, center dart leg so on this side i measure three quarter of an inch and then on this side so i measure three quarter of an inch and then connect it use a diagonal line to connect it to this point that i marked here earlier 
ಮತ್ತು Now the next step will be to impute my um, circumference measurement. So along the bust point line, I'll measure my bust circumference. The client's bust circumference is 48 inches. 48 divided by 2 by 4 is 12 inches. So I'll mark my 12 inches along that point. Then her under bust measurement is 42 inches. 42 divided by 4 is 10.5. So What I'm going to do, because I have to take into cognizance the um, that, that I have um, take into cognizance this um, measurement or this number of inches that I've um, taken out for the dust. So for my center front, along the under bust line, I'll measure to the first leg of my dust. Can you see? So that's 43 over 8 inches. Then I'll just move it. To the third leg of my, my dart and continue measuring that 4.8 4 3 over 8 inches to ensure that I get my 10.5 inches. Thank you. I hope that is clear. Essentially, what I've done is just another way to even do it is just to measure the width of this the dart at this point. Jiget and add that to your underboss circumference divided by 4. My underboss circumference divided by 4 is 10.5. Plus, this is half an inch. Can you see the width of the dart at this point is half an inch? So, 10.5 plus half plus 0 0.5, that's 11 inches. So, essentially, I should have 11 inches here, which is what I have. Can you see? 11 inches. So, next step is to impute my waist measurement. Waist measurement is 50 inches. Her waist circumference is 50 inches. 50 divided by 4 is 12.5 inches. So, I should have 12.5 inches along this point. So same thing, I'll just take into cognizance the, the um, number of inches that this dart has occupied. So this is 4 inches. I'll continue measuring after the third leg of the dart, 4 inches, and then mark my 12.5 inches here. Her hip measurement is 56 inches. 56 divided by 4 is 56. Her hip measurement is 56 inches. 56 divided by 4 is 14 inches. So I'll measure that along the blouse length line. So um, essentially what I'm going to do is just take into cognizance What I'm going to try to do is take into cognizance the amount of inches that will be lost to this dart. So, measure from the center front to the um, first leg of my dart, which is three, three, three quarter of an inch. Continue measuring from that point and measure my 14 inches here. So, this is what I have as the side seam. So, I'm going to connect all the so I'm going to connect all the points in a reasonable way. So I'll connect all my points and then connect to the under bus. Connect to 
sharp at this point but i've noticed that this point is way too sharp so i can actually increase just through my dart a bit at this point so that i don't have such a sharp edge at that point so just going to do this and then this so this is an extra half an inch so i'll just increase the dart leg by a quarter half divided by two is a quarter of an inch so a quarter of an inch on both sides just so that i have so can you see i've increased the dart by a quarter of an inch on both sides so that i don't have such a sharp So my end is not that sharp i hope you understand what i just did so this is one of the um, things you have to pay attention to when drafting patterns for plus size women because their body structure is um, kind of different from just regular slim people so you have to really pay attention to um, how their pattern turns out and then make the necessary adjustments you know through your dart if possible and all that so i'll add my allowances which is one inch by the side my steam allowance and one inch at every point and then one inch as well as one inch here and i'll just connect the point again So, my side seam has been settled. So, um, next thing is to draw out the arm size. So, okay. Okay, so to draw my arm size i would you remember we divided what was left of the vertical line of the armhole box sorry of the yes armhole box by two and we got 4.4 1 over 8 um, inches so at that for at that point i would come in by 3 over 8 of an inch Okay, so I'm coming back here about eight of an inch and then connect the points. So again, as with plus size women, only like for regular um maybe size eight or size ten or whatever, if I had done my French curve like this. It would have been enough like i would have just had i would have just drawn out the arm size straight up like this but for plus size women i can't do that because i'm reducing the the arm side depth you know i hope you understand what i mean so i'm going to have to try to angle my ruler my french curve in such a way that my the curve actually stops at where the um side seam is do you understand so from that point i just it's a bit flat but it's not as flat as it would have been if i didn't angle it this way so i just connect all the points together and then so just try to show it with my hand. So I hope this is clear. So this is the arm size. So the next very important step is to impose a side dart. So to impose a side dart from the boss point, 
I'll measure one inch towards the side seam and then measure one inch on the both point line and then also remember that from her the client's measurements her back neck to um, waist measurement is 20 while the front neck to waist measurement is 22 which is a difference of two inches so on along the bust point line measure two inches downwards can you see this measure two inches downwards and connect it to this one inch that's one inch away from the bust point that i measured earlier so can you see in this way i've created a side that which is really important very very important so i've created a side that so this is one that and this is my second that so thanks guys for watching we've come to the end of this tutorial if you found it useful or if you found this um, tutorial useful kindly subscribe to my channel share this video like the video and if you have questions kindly drop your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching guys